Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to make king crow tea. It has a very interesting flower center and I've experimented a few versions before finalizing it. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more art and craft tutorials. These are what you need for this project. We have a more detailed list in the information box below. We are going to start with the flower center. First, trim the beige crepe paper into the following sizes. Then we take out the pink and blue acrylic and color them in a very very pale purple. When I'm observing them, I think they have a velvet-like grey purple color in a flower center. So color them with a watered down bluish purple and let them dry. While they are drying, take 5 pieces of 18 gauge wire and tape them together with some masking tape. Get a piece of dark brown crepe paper strip and wrap the wire together with Yuhu glue. Take a pair of pliers to create our usual loop on the top and set it aside. The colour paper should be dry by now and we are going to cut some fringes to make them into the flower centre. Get a piece of toilet paper and fold it into a third and glue them together with hot glue. Roll the paper to thicken the top of the stem so you would need less fringes to make the centre. Take the 2cm piece and curl the fringe. The colour side is facing out. Add the hot glue to the fringe and start rolling. When you roll them, you will need to offset each round for about a millimeter. Then use a tweezer to expand the fringe and curl them a bit more. Curl the 3cm strip like the last step. But this time you're going to bend the bottom to enhance the curve on the fringe and allow the fringe to be glued. Add a strip of toilet roll with hot glue attached onto the bottom of the fringe to balance the thickness of the center. Add the fringe from the shortest to the highest. Repeat this process until you have reached the last strip. When you offset the layers, it might lead to a hollow bottom as some hot glue on the bottom of the flower center can provide support to the structure. For the last strip, we bend the bottom of the fringe the opposite way than the others, pointing at the blank side. We can hide the glue at the bottom and give a nicer finishing. Adjust the fringe so they are fluffy and look like a cat toy. Now we move on to the petals. Trim the paint paper to the height of the template and cut the petals following the template We will need 8 pieces of petals from each of these templates. We are going to color our petals 
with majority of pink, a bit of yellow and some brown for shading as well. You can mix your colour to your own taste. Colour the bottom with the strongest colour and bring the brush to the middle. I colour the middle and the top edges with a smaller amount of paint. Colour the two big sizes with this method. For the rest, we just colour the petals with the same principle. Stronger at the bottom, lighter on top. You can also add some darker pink and brown brush strokes randomly onto the petals. Now we come back for the two big petals and colour the other side of the petal. The tip has the strongest colour and bring the colour down. Only these two sizes will be shown on the top of the flower, so we can leave the others blank. Now we move on to shaping. Expand all the petals a little so the bottom is a bit curvy. Do the same to all the petals. Take the flower center out and attach them from this biggest petal to the smallest. Add a very generous drop of hot glue at the bottom of the petals and place the petals evenly on the bottom of the flower center. Then alter the petals with all the other layers until you have reached the bottom. Now we move on to the leaves. Cut the leaves following the template. If you haven't watched our leaves making tutorial, make sure you do so so you will not miss any details. Cut the 24 gauge wire for 15 centimeters and attach the leaves and wire with yuhu glue. When you're done, we trim the tip of the leaves to a round edge. The leaves of the king protein have a hinge of red on the top, so we also add this little detail with some paint on both sides. Then we wrap the wire with green flower tapes. Now we are going to put the leaves onto the flower stem. I use the masking tape to mark the first two leaves. Make sure you leave a bit of wire as the leaf stem and wrap all of them together with a strip of dark brown crepe paper. Constantly wrapping the leaves onto the stem with yuhu glue and a paper strip. In order to balance the flower stem at the bottom, I add extra crepe paper to thicken the stem so it doesn't look like the top is much thicker than the bottom. Adjust the style, then you're done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. I will update our Queen Pro Tea very soon. Stay tuned. And all our templates are available on our Etsy store already. Check them out.